Hey guys, it's me, Amy the Disney Fangirl 2005 here, and today I'm going to be reacting to a video made by my boyfriend, and it's called Mr. Me AI Scenario Christmas Special. He worked really hard on this. This took him two months to make. So, this guy deserves credit. I've only seen a little bit of it. I've just kind of skimmed through it. It looks amazing. So, this guy deserves more subscribers. So, if you guys can go subscribe to my boyfriend, that'd be amazing. Because it'd make me happy and it'd make him happy. I'll leave a link to his channel down in the description as well as this video. I'll put the original video down in the description. He wanted me to react to this. And so, let's get started. First, we're going to read the EAS, I mean, the description of this video. I do not own or is responsible for any misuse of EAS scenario. The EAS tones and the sirens and the original Mr. Me belong to the Keplerans, not me. I just own the, mis the new Mr. Me. No copyright is intended, so don't strike me. Yeah, please don't strike him. <laughs> I'm sorry for the bad quality in this scenario. I did my best. Oh, yes, you did, honey. Don't be sorry that you did well. I tried to find the EAM downloader, but they all were deleted. This is my first EAS scenario, so I did my best for the first EAS scenario. My first EAS scenario, so this is all I can do from the first try. Merry Christmas, my homeboys. You did good. You did good, sweetheart. Don't don't be down on yourself. So let's react to this. The following presentation is a work of fiction and should be used for entertainment purposes only. Being warned that this video may contain. Wow! Ah! I wasn't done reading. Certain and scary tones just for the heads up. Nah, they shouldn't be too scared. Whatever y'all do, do not play these tones on live air. Doing so will cause a real, a real EIS activation, which will cause incredible amounts of panic. And you might get arrested. Oh, okay, I won't do that. All of my homeboys and homegirls, I present you. Mr. Meet the uh, scenario. He looks really scary in that costume, but he's actually super handsome when he's just being Edward. If y'all don't know what Mr. Meat is, he's a butcher who takes people, turns them into pigs, and then bunches and sells for millions. God! He came from the Kaplan's Horror Game Developer Company. Good lord. That's that's creepy. He is a human, but what if, if there was a clone of him as a zombie who turned people into pigs and releases bloodthirsty zombies and man-eating pigs to attack innocent people? That's creepy. To the point where they would have to declare a global alert. Well, let's find out together. Oh, God. I'm actually getting a little scared now. We will start at Colonelsville, North Carolina, United States of America. That's where he lives. Lake Drive, ST, October 9, 2020, 1.30 p.m. <coughs> <coughs> The following, the following message has been translated by the request of the state of North Carolina Police Department. The Mr. Meat situation that started wow. back in the Wow, how did they make this voice? It's... It's... Well done! Oh my god! My boyfriend is a... Is a... Uh... I don't know what to call him, but he's... Perfect at making this! How the hell is this not good for a first try? You did awesome, honey. You did good. And don't make fun of me for calling him honey. He's my sweetheart. 
bill would come in and report the state states in the adjoining states, states which in streets of Lake South Carolina, this individual is identified to be the wearing purple jeans, suspects, has also released a new chemical, chemical. and Mark the chemical virus related to this all civilians start to go into a living dead state, carrying in that police department due to this individual having extremely dangerous characteristics and may have to declare martial law in order to remain indoors this suspect time, they start attacking residents in the following states, are advised to find the nearest rescue station, for more information on this upcoming situation, as much a guy with an axe, probably just a kid in a costume. No, it's Mr. Meat. Seven minutes later. Civil danger warning. The following message has been transmitted by the request of the Kernersville Police Department. All residents in the area of Kernersville, lock all of your doors immediately. The individual that was reported 30 minutes ago is confirmed to be hostile. This suspect is attacking civilians by firing darts boiled with a potion that turns people into pigs. And then when the pig is fully grown, chops them up with his large axe. This suspect is that attacking it. That is so disturbing and disgusting. I'm glad I'm not a person who would ever do that to an animal. <laughs> Sorry if I didn't mention this earlier, but I caught a cold, and so I'm blowing my nose. And that's why you hear me kind of sniffling in the video. I don't have corona or anything. Don't freak the fuck out, people. I just got a cold. Anyone ...and is brutally succeeding in the process. All residents living in the area of Kernersville are ordered to shelter in place immediately. Lock all windows and doors and take refuge to the basement, but if a basement doesn't exist, take refuge into an interior room that has as very little doors and windows as possible. If any of the pigs come near your shelter, don't fear them. Take the pig with you when you shelter in place so the authorities can help make a cure for the potion. If you see the individual, run as fast as you can and call 911 immediately. Stay tuned to local media outlets for more information on this dangerous situation. Um, what? This is well done. You should be proud of yourself. You did so good, sweetheart. And I don't want anyone making fun of me for calling him sweetheart or honey. Okay? We are in love and we will do whatever the fuck we want. So don't judge us. And it says, you think to yourself, since you're not that close to Lake Drive, you could just leave. I'm not close to North Carolina at all. Because I don't want to be here when it spreads across Colonelville. I rush back to pack my belongings and race to the car. I put it in my backseat, a cooler, food bottle, water, extra clothes, phone with charger, and my step, my syringe and bladed machete. My guy knows how to be prepared, okay? My boyfriend is smart. And he has weapons to defend himself. He knows what the fuck he's doing. And drive away immediately. I could use my extra money for gas, you thought. So you quickly away, drive away to Virginia where you would- ah! Why does it keep doing the- Why does it keep going so fast where I can't read it? I use my extra money for gas, you thought. So you quickly drive away to Virginia where you have relatives, but it all gets you mad with another alert. Oh shit! One hour later. The following message has been translated by the request of the Kernersville Police Department. The individual now identified as Mr. Meat continues to cause chaos across the city. The pigs that the suspect uses have now mutated into a bloodthirsty monster. Oh shit! If you have a pig shit! in your shop, I knew it was Mr. Meat! Sir, remove it immediately as it will turn into a man-eating pig capable of breaking through wooden houses. A new discovery has been found that sheltering from the chaos is useless and does not protect you at all. All residents are instructed to lock all doors and windows. Turn off all heating and air conditioning systems and gather everyone in your household. 
When you evacuate, tie a towel around your mailbox so the authorities are aware that you are following the evacuation orders. When you evacuate, bring food, water, chatting, medical supply, phones, phone chargers and a battery-powered radio. Again, do not refuse to evacuate. Leave now. You don't listen to what they're saying. It's getting real. You pulled you're pulled over by a millier by a military unit. He instructs you to go to the underground car shelter. So you get go in there with a thousand people sheltering from this attack. <sighs> Money would soon become statewide. Oh shit. Five hours later. The following message has been translated by the request of the state of North Carolina. The Mr. Meat situation that started back in Kernersville has now spread across the state and of the adjoining states which include South Carolina, Virginia and Tennessee. The Mr. Meat suspect has also released a new chemical. The chemical is virus related and it makes all civilians start to go into a living dead state. The police department is having a difficult time dealing with these pig and dead monsters and may have to declare martial law in all four states. At this time, all residents in the following states are advised to find the nearest rescue station. The military is sending as much cars as possible to all rescue stations. All military personnel are ordered to be prepared for Mr. Meat as well as any pig or zombie that comes. Wow, he just went through very quickly. Very quick, I meant, sorry. I still can't believe... He made it to where they declared martial law. And wait, so that the monster now has. Zombies? Oh shit! Oh god! Good thing they are sheltering people inside these huge indestructible capsules. Imagine if this happened in real life. Oh fuck, we'd all be screwed. But so they would go throughout the entire United States of America! So even in Arkansas too? Oh god. Uh, one week like later. A national alert is issued. This is an emergency action notification requested by the White House. All EAS participants will follow activation procedures in the EAS operating handbook for a national level emergency. The President of the United States or one of his representatives will shortly deliver a message over the emergency alert system. You mean? Please stand by. Please stand by. Well, Donald Trump is still kind of the president, isn't he, right now? But he's not going to be soon. We interrupt our regular programming. This is a national emergency. Important details will follow. Trouble dealing with Mr. Meat as they say he is resistant to bullet weaponry. At this time, 
All residents of the United States are ordered to shelter in place immediately. Lock all doors and windows, turn off all heating and air conditioning systems and bring food, water, clothing, medical supplies and a radio for your shelter. If any of the zombies or pigs enter your home, defend yourself by all means necessary. All police and military forces are being deployed to deal with a disaster. An all clear message will be present once the situation is under control. Now they're saying he is immune to bullet weaponry. I keep hearing over the soldiers radio that Mr. Me and his army is too powerful to contain by one military force alone. I really hope this will end soon. I really hope so too. This is fucked up. By the looks of this, I'm not sure that we will even save ourselves. Three months later? We interrupt our regular programming. This is a global emergency. Important details will follow. The following message has been transmitted by the request of the United States government. This is not a test. I repeat, this is not a test. Mr. Mead as well as zombies and pigs have spread to different countries across the world. The following countries include Brazil, Algeria, Kenya, Germany, Spain, Portugal and Canada. The CDC has discovered both chemicals are as resistant to all cures. They tried so hard but still failed. The chemicals are too strong. All residents across the world are ordered to shelter in place immediately. Lock all doors and windows. Turn off all ventilation systems. And shut off all sources of any sound. Doing so will result in your survival. The military is trying to find a way to destroy the monsters so we can finally go back to normal. Stay tuned to all media outlets for more information on this dangerous situation. This is getting fucked up for real. Mr. Bean is now everywhere. No cure for the infections. This can only mean one thing. We're doomed! Our world is about to come to an end. Not in a week, not in a day, not even in an hour. So we can't even live our final days out in the world. Estimated remaining time. Thirty-four minutes? So I only get to live for more, thirty-four more minutes before I just die? The last moments have come. This is fucked up. Even just for a fake one. Well, imagine if this was like real life. We interrupt our regular programming. This is a global emergency. Important details will follow. The following message has been transmitted by the request of the United States government. This is not a test. I repeat, this is not a test. Mr. Mead and his evil army has now spread across every country in the world. Every single country in the world is reporting attacks caused by the pigs and zombies. There is nothing we can do to stop Mr. Mead from causing even worse damage since he is resistant to all forms of weaponry. The total death toll is 5,921,000,000 and it isn't expected to stop anytime soon. It is expected that Mr. Mead and his monsters will kill off all life on Earth within the next 30 minutes. Our residents across the world are strongly advised to gather with loved ones, such as family and friends, and brace for the end. If you are a person of a religious domination, pray to your God or Goddess. There is no reason to stay calm. Go into panic mode if you want to. The United States government has selected a verse from the Bible to be read on the air. Roman 6, 23, for the wages of sinners death, but the true gift of God is eternal life God, in Christ really Jesus our Lord. Lord. This is 
May God help us all. The President of the United States as well as all world leaders have turned into pigs. This has led to government collapses across the world. Your government thanks you for your cooperation but this is the end. We now conclude the final ever activation of the emergency alert system. This is going so scary and intense. Epilogue. That's it. All life on Earth has died out. Thanks to Mr. B. All the people turned into pigs were chopped up by Mr. B. Were fed to all the zombies. Wait, what the f- Were chopped up by Mr. B. Were fed all the zombies as well as himself. So really? He even he dies? Uh, this doesn't have a good ending at all, but I'm glad Mr. Me died, but not everyone else. Why couldn't he just be the one to die and not everyone else? <laughs> Eventually, he all the zombies died out due to- Well, I'm not done reading! Eventually, he and all the zombies died out due to there being nothing left to feast on. After they all died out, Earth became a barren void. Nothing had no. Dude, this thing is going way too fast. Like, I can barely read. Nothing and no one can return after what happened. This is sad. This is the worst life as we knew it has died forever. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe and do not unsubscribe and comment what e Dylan and AI should make next for a special. I'm not really sure. What do you guys think he should do? That was my own Mr. Meat. He looks handsome. And I'm not gonna lie, he looks handsome in that <laughs> costume kind of. See the difference? No copyright is intended. Yep. Bula. So yeah, that's the end of this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to me and my boyfriend. I'll see you guys in the future videos. Peace.